Hello everyone, welcome to most CD culture show and tell and you should know that whenever all the CDs that I own is basically all the ones that I like that I can find that, I, that are available and there's also many that, that were not available so I had to order them which is the which is the good thing about Frank's music is they will order s certain CDs for me that's hard to get or well like I have a couple of CDs on order that I, I've had them order for almost a year now they still haven't come in yet and then there's other CDs that I had ordered in the past that came in like in a week like the Bruce Hacks for example so yeah whenever you're in Moncton go to Frank's music off of Carson talk to Carl buy a CD there I I still this is you know this is a one of the reasons why I like I want to do this videos is because if I eventually get monetized in that it's to help buy some new CDs you know I'm like I'm just barely cutting it right now with, with you know with how things are going so like yeah I, I want to be able to buy some more CDs so I can continue making these great episodes <clears throat> and sharing and, and sharing the music I love I everything I present on this channel all the music that I put on this channel I love him some in some way music is a central part of my life it's the soundtrack to my existence you know so let's get into the next CD so it's going to be the humans 2017 humans yeah from gorillas so yeah I I gotta play these newer ones more I don't have quite a quite an enough yeah I, I still yeah I still need to hear them more often so it starts off with a little intro which is called I switched I switched my robot off then my probably my favorite track is Ascension the the, the, the yeah basically the first song but it's track number two but then there's uh Stro strobe light saturn's bars mo moments interlude the non-conformist oath submission charger oh i need my magnifying glass for this so yeah another interlude elevator going up andromeda then there's B busted in blue another interlude talk radio carnival let me out another interlude penthouse sex murder party she's my uh, sex murder party I remember that's pretty cool she's my caller another interlude the elephant and hallelujah money and then my second favorite song is the last track we got the power I actually really like that so and usually when I try to make a mixtape of, of this uh, of the gorillas I like to I like to put uh, yeah I like to put Ascension and we got the power together and eventually I'm going to show you yeah I like I like actually I don't have too much of them but I do have like I like a little bit of blank tapes here and there so I can record like I, I like I like a good blank tape every now and then with like a good mix on it I got a special one that I, I have I have made up there. I will get into a, a, an episode to speak about that in particular. But yeah, let's get to the next CD, which is the Now Now. And yeah, this, again, I'm not as familiar with the newer stuff. I need to play them more. I, I'm, I don't like it as much as the older stuff. The first three albums, like the Gorillas, Demon Days, and Plastic Beach, those three are, are solid. I, I love those. Those are pretty much, you know, ingrained in my in, in my brain. But these newer ones, yeah, I need to listen to them a little bit more. Then you get the first track. It's called Humility featuring George Benson. Then you have Trans with a Z. Then you have uh, Hollywood featuring Snoop Dogg and Jamie Principal. Then track four, Kansas. Track five, Sorceress. Track six, Idaho. Track seven, Lake Zurich. Track eight, Magic City. Fireflies. One percent. 
and Sukai. Yeah. And, and I do like the album, you know. I, I can put the whole thing on and just let it play, and then and I and I know and I enjoy it. But nothing off of it really stands out to me. That's again, I would need to listen to them more so that so I can you know find the distinction. In in distinction happens to be my favorite word of all time for the last. For the last 15 years, it's been my favorite word, distinction, you know, to, to, when something is distinctive, you know, that's unique upon itself, distinct. I love that word. It's something I strive for in qu the quality of my life, to be distinctive. So, yeah, I like this album. That's, you know, a little tidbit about me, that, that's my favorite word of all time. I, I just love it. Now, again, this is a newer album. I mean, oh, the Now Now, by the way, is 2018. So it's a little newer. This one here is, is, is 2020. This came out during that big uh, P word thing I don't want to really say. Because it's a terrible time that I just don't want to remember. I'm glad we're past that now, mostly. But yeah, the Song Machine. It's volume one. Yeah, Gorillas present Song Machine, and apparently, yeah, this is I think Volume One, but then it's, it starts off with Strange Times featuring Robert Smith, then the Valley of the Pagan, Pagans featuring Beck, then there are the Lost Chords featuring Lee John, then Pac Man featuring Schoolboy Q, then Chalk Tablets Towers featuring Saint Vincent. The Pink Phantom featuring Elton John and and Six Black, and then S Song Seven Aries featuring Peter Hook and Georgia, then Song Eight Friday the Thirteenth featuring Octavian, then Song Nine Dead Butterflies featuring Cano and Roxanne Arias, then. Song number 10, Désolé, which is French for sorry, featuring Fatumata Diawara, then track 11, Monetary Bliss, and featuring Slow Tie and Slaves. So I guess that, that you know, it's, it's gorillas, but they're also featuring other artists. It's kind of a collaboration thing, I think. But it's not a bad album again. It's something I need to listen to more. I think I might. I think I may have only played this once when I got it, and that was it. Yeah, this is going on my list, and maybe a couple of the other ones too. Maybe yeah, probably humans and now now the now now is going to go on my my list of stuff I need to play again soon. So yeah. That's what I should have played today, one of these. But I just had to play, yeah, to take a bath. I just had to play the the uh, Gorillas, Gorillas, the self-titled album. Now, that's all I have for the Gorillas. But I can't leave this video just like that. There's two CDs I have that they kind of go with it because they're because it's featuring Damon Albarn from you know. Who is who is pretty much him? Of course, him with Julie Hewlett. Uh, Ju, sorry, Jamie Hewitt. Hewlett. <laughs> when they created the Gorillas. Well, he had a previous band, of course, and I had to get, of course, the self-titled Blur, which is um, 1997s, and and if, of course it was all for song two, which is titled song two. But Beetle Bum, the first song, is cool. You know, song two, which is the reason I got this. And also because I, I'm aware of, you know, it's it's like listening to the Gorillas, but it's different. But just, a, but you know, it has, you know, Damon in it. So it's still like another, like an extension of Gorillas for me. For other people, it would be the other way around. They probably like Blur first and then got into Gorillas. I kind of gotten. I always liked the song, song two, of course, 
but I it came the other way around. I really got into gorillas first, and then kind of went backwards and got into Blur. But then there's Country Sad Ballot Man, then M O R, and then my actual favorite song on this is "On Your Own," the fifth song. I I, I really love that the feel of that song. Then there's theme from Retro, "You're So Great," "Death of a Party," "Chinese Bombs." I'm just a killer for your love. Look inside America. Strange news from another star. Moving on. And ethics dogs. And yeah, I really like this album. It's another album I could just put on and and play the whole thing and and enjoy the whole thing. It it, it has some 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 standout distinctive qualities. So now we're going to get into the. Uh, to the next album. Where did I put that? Where is, oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Now, for this album here, okay, I learned about this when, when I, I, going into Frank's one day, okay, and this was a new release. This is, this is a, well, 2015's The Magic Whip. Now, when I, I walked into Frank's one day, and this was on the, on the shelf, and, and as you look at the cover, it doesn't say what the band is. I mean, I mean, I guess it's written here somewhere. Nope, it's not Chinese writing. Chinese writing. It's, okay, so it's like nothing. There's nothing written anywhere. Like there's nothing written there. Oh, there is stuff written there. What's written there? Oh, it's the. Oh, well, that's where they have the the. the the details of the year under exclusive license to yeah that's all the copyright information is right it's actually right on the side here that's the first time i've ever seen that i've actually never looked so closely at it before to notice that yeah it's all the copyright stuff yeah that shows the date and and yeah the yeah, copyright information that's that's rare and yeah and what and the magic whip okay is they got stranded in Japan and they were so enamored by the culture in there the culture there that they they really kind of quickly whipped up a new album on the spot they they went into the studio and very quickly like they were so inspired they there's a cool a cool little documentary on how they created this album and I I really like it and I, and I thought like because the way when I walked into Frank's music that day, that's when um a, a really cool guy named Mark was working there, and he kind of was like you know, pointing it out and saying, yeah, that's the the new Blur, and I you know because he knew I really liked Gorillas at the time, and he was like, yeah, you should pick that up. It's different. It's a little It's a little strange, and I I. I on his recommendation, I bought it, brought it home, and yeah, I, I like it. Now, of course, to get to the titles of the album is not as easy, you know. It's like, oh, oh, so far it's in, it's in, it's in Japanese or Chinese or whatever. It's probably Japanese, cause, yeah. But there, there is the lyrics. The, the, there are lyrics to it. It's all written. In jumbled uh, form and stuff like you know like typed out and stuff but here's the song list I'm gonna get to it here so this the first song is called uh, my terracotta heart is that right no wait how does it go where's the order I gotta get into the right order Cause, yeah Oh, I'm, I see I'm missing something here. Where is that? Ah, here it is. It starts there. Artist Blur. Title, The Magic Whip. Format, Compact Disc Stereo. Track, Title, and Timing. So there's there's track one, Lonesome Street. Oh yeah, Lonesome Street. I'm not going to go through the timing. But yeah, Lonesome Street. That's track number one. Track number two. New World Towers, which is awesome. 
uh, go out. Oh, this album is awesome. I, I really do like it. Uh, go out. The Ice Cream Man, which is kind of a, a little bit personal to me because for two years, okay, and and to see that kind of in a little bit of a touch of that, you um, in the trailer park, okay, well, I'll, I'm going on a random thought here, okay. I used to work as an ice cream man. For two years, I used to have the Dickie D ice cream bikes with, you know, with the three wheels, the big, the big white uh, thing in, in the front where you hold your ice cream in. And I would go around the neighborhood ringing that bell, ding, 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 ding. Can we get your ice cream? The first year I was in a, uh, like, residential, more with houses than that. But that's not where the big money is. The big money is in the industrial park where the big the big factory workers and you time their breaks, you get out there and you you sell ice cream. So two years and two years. It's only a summer job, so I you know I had to get an actual job job. But for those two years when working at an ice cream man, they were some of the funnest years of my life. I really enjoyed that job. I just wish it was just more, you know, I, I would have been able to do it year round. Cause I was actually really good at it, but anyway, yeah, to get into the back into this album, yeah, that song Ice Cream Man. So, any kind of song that has Ice Cream Man in it, yeah, I used to be an ice cream man, anyway. So, then there's track five, Thought I Was a Spaceman. Again, good. My favorite song on here is I Broadcast, it's probably, yeah, my yeah, it's my favorite song now. Continue track number seven, My Terracotta Heart, which is another good one. By probably my second favorite song on there. Then there's There Are Too Many of Us, Ghost Ship, Poing Poing uh, Poing Poing I'm I'm going to butcher that. It's P Y O N G Y A N G. I really apologize if I am butchering that word. Poing gang, poing gang. And then there's ong ong, um, track number eleven. And then track number twelve, mirror ball. And there's yeah. And that's it. Yeah, track number twelve, last song, mirror ball. I really like this album. This is a this this is now my I I've I've played I've played this more than a dozen times for sure. It's just so good. You know, yeah, dedicated to the Japanese. I mean it was it was created in Japan when they were just they were just there. I think they were stranded, it was a storm or something. If I remember correctly. I gotta watch that documentary again because I, I I enjoyed that too. I gotta refresh my memory on that. But this, yeah, this is an album I actually uh, I I like putting this on every now and then. So that is going to conclude another episode of Mo CD Culture Sh Show and Tell. I really thank you guys for all watching and everything. Have a good day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Take care. Be safe, and I will see you on the flip side. Later.